this. In the mix. In the mix. Goats, how would you describe the connection and, and the role, your role in the film, and how your estranged father in the film, played by this amazing actor? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised you actually, did you, uh, have you seen a cut of the film? I have not seen any part of the film you yet, but. You know more about it than, than many. No, I know you guys are all going to see it tonight. Are you, yeah. are you nervous to see it? Um, a little bit, but I feel like uh, I feel like we're in good hands. I think Chris is really he's a very steady guy, and uh, he's been working really hard on it. And he also had a big hand in the script, and the script was beautiful. So it gives you a lot of faith. He's very passionate about yeah. the script, and he can relate to the story personally. So that always helps when the director in can an be. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's kind of amazing how autobiographical it is. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you decide to take on this film? You are involved in many different projects, both TV and film. Why did you decide to take on this project? Uh, in, in large part due to Chris. I mean, the script was amazing, and I was I was really excited about it on its own. But then meeting Chris and, you know, uh, I mean, even just chatting with him for a minute, you get a, a sense for how kind of uh, kind he is and, and smart. Um, and also, I think because of that experience was so autobiographical, I thought, oh, this is a guy who, who has a real connection to this story, and I feel like this is, you know, feels like you're going to be in good hands. You've been to Sundance before? I was here a, a long time ago with Friends with Money, um, the oh, Nicole Holes and her film. Great film. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Um, but it's been a long time, a long a while, yeah. And you, sir, I'm going to assume that this is your first Sundance, am I right? You are. I'm a Sundance virgin. As Another, a, a Sundance virgin, <laughs> just like Dakota Johnson. Yes. Yes. And um, and so, what has your experience been so far? I mean, it's just been terrific. I mean, I. Um, oh, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> so cute. Don't sing. Don't sing. <laughs> All right, fine. Can you sing? Don't make me. Should we put a guitar in your hand? Uh, do you tap dance. I do. Yeah, I do. I do it all. Um, but no, I mean, it's just been terrific. I've been to Park City every year to ski, but it's just, I've never been here during the festival, and it's just, the city is so transformed. It's like, so alive at all hours of the day and night. You've been to Park City before with your family skiing, mm -hmm. and now you get to come back on your own. You're 14? Close, <laughs> 18, nice. I mean, you know. I play a 15-year-old. Play a 15-year-old, which we hear that your performance is incredible, and are you excited? Are you looking forward to seeing how other people react to the film this evening? I'm so excited, and I also opted to not see it until tonight, uh, along with David, and um, and I just I'm so excited just because you know the script. I think that the, the movie we shot really does the script justice, and I'm just excited to see it. And you know, it's it's beautiful to be able to see the soundtrack and all the different elements come together as one. Yeah, the soundtrack to me is half the battle. Yeah. I mean, it's necessary. So, what was it like to work with Ty? Well, you know, he was just, I mean, I was supposed to play the stoner, but in reality, you know, this man over here was just... <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. We are PG-13 here, okay? Facetious. Never. This is Modern Family Star, okay? What was funny about working with Ty was that his character is so different than his character in Modern Family. He plays like, I don't want to say a serious guy, but it's definitely, as Ty said, a lot more measured and calculated and careful, it seems like, than his character on the show. And, um, and every once in a while, as we started to get to know each other better, um, Ellis and, and Frank, the character he plays, he starts opening up a little bit and starts like giving <laughs> like hints of jokes and things. But he played the jokes like as if he had never told a joke before, and I thought it was brilliant because you know just after watching the show, seeing him like not be funny was like more funny than anything I'd ever seen. So he's very talented, is what you're saying? <laughs> Absolutely, very versatile. Versatile, good word, good word. So, uh, okay, so speaking of, of versatile, one of the things that um, Entertainment Tonight is interested in because uh, recently in the more pop culture news, uh, Seal and Heidi Klum just recently um, announced that they're getting divorced. So one of the questions that they wanted to ask, especially you, you as a person, your character, you're a married man in real life, and then on Modern Family, you're married as well. How would you talk about in, in terms of just relationships? You know, what is the key to a successful relationship for your character 
on Modern Family versus in your real life? Uh, the, the key, f I mean, on the show is, is, is the way that they're written. I mean, that's, that's just, uh, you know, you don't actually, uh, uh, you have really good writers writing very, very funny uh, characters who love each other. Um, in, in real life, honestly, I don't, I don't have advice for people because I think everybody's relationship is different. I, I'm very lucky in that I married a, a wonderful, wonderful woman. That's, that's my advice. That was William marry, H. Macy's marry, advice. Marry a, marry a wonderful person. That's exactly yeah. what William H. Macy said. He yeah. said, marry Fel Felicity Huffman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm married to Felicity Huffman. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nice to meet you. In the mix. <laughs>